Street art has really evolved over the years to the point where you're seeing massive murals like the one behind me being painted in places like downtown Burlington by artists like the one beside me, Chris Perez. Hey, how's hey, it going? What's going on, man? Good to see you. Chilling. Yeah, nice to meet yeah. you. So this, uh, this, is, this is being done by the uh, downtown Burlington BIA who have hired Chris and Aiden to transform this otherwise plain boring wall into what we're seeing right now. Exactly. Okay, so this is what you, this is what you do. You're a muralist, an artist? Yeah, yeah, I'm a full-time artist, muralist, as you would say. Um, you know, I've been painting for a couple of years. Went to art school, been pushing myself, hustling, and uh, yeah, art's, art's my passion. It's my career. Never wanted a job, I want a career in art. Amazing, man. So this is like, you're doing this all by spray paint? Yeah, yeah, spray paint. Spray paint and a little bit of luck here and there, but yeah, spray paint for sure. So they came to you and you had to actually kind of interview for your vision of what you wanted to do here? Yeah, I mean, like they want to have a preliminary sketch that we could have something to show them. Um, there's some color corrections, nothing too crazy, but uh, most of the direction is by me. So when we're looking at how, how far along are we here? Halfway. So we're halfway, yeah, really? Okay. Yeah. So how much of is it, so did you sketch it out? Physically or is it in your mind? Like are you just kind of going, I don't know, free, free freestyle at this point? Yeah, so there is like a basic skeleton, you could say, of the mural. And then from there, we kind of fl start fleshing it out by using more colors, combination of techniques, uh, spontaneity. Um, all those things really make the difference when you're looking at the texture of the mural. Not just the aesthetics, but the texture of it really, really represents the, the idea behind what I want to do is, you know, get everyone to look a second time. Yeah, what's it been like for the past year being an artist in, uh, I guess, year and a half, even two years? Yeah, I mean, I've been over Canada, all over Canada, so it's been really interesting to see how, you know, different communities and different neighborhoods respond to art. And as, as a muralist, it's just great to have that conversation again post-COVID, you know? It's good to have community out here for accessible artwork for people who, you know, may be timid to go into the gallery or a museum, so it's always good to have a conversation piece. Well, listen, this is on John Street in, in Burlington. Like, you have Lakeshore right down there. Yeah, Branch Street's beautiful. up over here. And this is a street where you would just normally walk by this building because there's a blank blank wall, nothing exactly, was there. Exactly, exactly. So now you might get somebody kind of, I don't know, slowing down and... Take their time. Taking the time yeah, to, exactly. to take a look at it. Yeah. And you got your buddy Aiden here too? Yeah, Help Aiden's been a big support. He's a local Burlingtonite. Um, he's been here for a good while just like me, right. grinding away. So you've been working on this all week? All week, yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's take a break because we want to talk to uh, Sam Statham for the uh, Burlington BIA and why they chose you and how this whole project uh, began. And it's through something called Steps. And we have somebody uh, from Steps as well. And could you maybe teach me a couple things? For sure. Give me a can of spray paint and uh, see if I'll screw it up. Let's give it an old college try. We'll do that when we come back. Downtown Burlington on Morning Live. Doing a pretty cool thing today because we've been invited out by uh, downtown Burlington BIA to check out this massive mural being painted on uh, on John Street here in uh, Burlington. Happy to be joined from the BIA, Sam Statham. And yeah. Sam, we know very well because we're in Burlington a lot. <laughs> Sam is normally on the other side of the camera taking pictures and doing all that type of stuff. We've convinced her to come and run in the camera with us. So uh, great to see you. Great to see you too. This is exciting. Oh, so exciting. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Like, okay. Where did this come from? Where did this idea come from? So, I mean, you see murals all over the globe in major cities, the ones we see in Hamilton, Toronto. Yeah. This has always been on our wish list, but what sparked the project this year and what really facilitated it was a program out of Toronto that offers grants and they help BIAs across Ontario facilitate new activations with beautification, um, massive art installations, and we applied on behalf of our members ended up winning and really? was selected. No way. So the first thing we wanted to do was obviously work on that mural project we've been wishing for forever. Okay, so then why this wall here? So part of my role through the BIA is to get people moving around downtown. You'll notice we're, we're on a side street here on John. Um, it's right up from Lakeshore Road. We just demolished a building right here and it revealed a beautiful blank canvas that we could work with. 
Everyone knows Brant Street. Everyone's walking down yeah. to the lakeshore. This will pull people on the side streets to hopefully discover the new businesses. Yeah, you're driving by on lakeshore, oh, you're yeah. walking by on lakeshore, and it just pops. Oh, yeah. Right? Because of the color. And is that, like, how much do you have in the design? So it was pretty cool, actually. We did a series of design briefs, and we figured out the composition, the colors. We really looked at the street, what would pop as, like you said, yeah. driving by, walking by. And we decided with a floral composition. Cool. Everyone loves flowers, and especially what we've been through the last 18 plus really? months. It's a symbol of love, of passion, of friendship that I think really embodies this community as well. Amazing. So we got Chris. We met Chris. Yes. Um, and Aiden is, is helping hand there. Did you have to? Do you like audition them? Do you <laughs> interview them? Like how do you, how did you come yeah. with Chris? How so you, based, so Chris. based on our design brief with the floral and the abstract and the colors we wanted the organization provided us with a series of artists that matched our tone and as soon as I saw Chris right. it was like yeah 100% we need him he's the artist no ifs ands or buts that was the one we wanted cool what do you think I'm <laughs> every time I've come by this week Tim I can't like I'm blown away with what's been produced yeah. how it's come together we're so excited to have this downtown and it's gonna be on John Street forever which is oh, really yeah. exciting and the program you're talking about is called steps yes is that steps it? public art steps public art so let's take a break uh, we have somebody from steps here so we'll uh, we'll talk about the program a little bit while we watch Aiden and, and Chris do their thing and there's a rumor that Chris might even allow a hack like myself to pick up a can and test out my skills we come back Downtown Burlington, on Morning Live. Progress on this massive mural in downtown Burlington, it's right on John Street, is coming along nicely. We have uh, artist Chris Perez doing his thing, and uh, we got Aiden down there doing his thing. And, and the way that downtown Burlington BIA was able to get this is through a grant, through a, a program called Steps. And happy to be joined by uh, Praniti Hi. From, uh, from Steps. Nice yes. to meet you. Same here. Is this exciting for you to see? Very exciting. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to like, what does what does Steps stand for? Okay, so Steps stands for Sustainable Thinking and Expression in Public Space. So it's a very long uh, name, but uh, Steps for short. Uh, and Steps is a national uh, nonprofit organization. We work with communities to create inclusive and dynamic uh, public art initiatives. Awesome. So, like, how long have you been issuing grants to BIAs like Burlington for? things like this to happen? So this project is part of our iHeart Main Street Challenge. We are in the second year, this uh, second rendition this year. Right. Uh, and uh, we have uh, worked with BIAs since earlier this year to un look at what their budgets are, what their uh, ideas are, and then supporting them through that. Does it stem from the pandemic? Of just like, just people just wanting to see some color around their towns and yes, cities? Yes, that's correct. So last year when the pandemic hit in 2020, we realized that our artist communities and the main streets were both struggling. And we saw that as an opportunity to bring them both together and create more vibrancy in the spaces because that was definitely something we needed while everything was so grim and sad. So did, you, so did you get a lot of, let's say, applications from BIAs? <laughs> I could see why wouldn't they want something <laughs> like this to happen. Yes. Did they have to present the whole case and where they're going to do it and what they wanted to do and their vision for you to choose them? Yes, that's true. So this year we had a, a, a approximately 35 applications from BIAs across Ontario. And we selected 26 of them, which was a bit difficult for us to not say, say no to say a few no people. Say no to, to nine of them, yeah, right? Yeah, so it was difficult, but uh, we had to consider the timelines and things. And then the artists, because yes. you're the, you, you have Chris on your roster, so yes. you present all the artists to the BIAs. Yeah, yeah. So we understand what the requirement is, and then based on that, we try to suggest local artists. And Chris is one of them, and then we had Aiden join him as well, who's a, a Burlington resident. It's amazing what they can do with the can of spray paint. <laughs> Definitely. And, and create art like this. Yeah. Uh, fascinating. So we've met Chris already, but we're going to uh, we're going to dive into how he does it with the uh, cans of spray paints, and might even give me one and see if hopefully I don't screw it up. Right? <laughs> Pretty cool. But you'll always see this. John Street in downtown Burlington is there putting the finishing touches on this. Very nice to meet you, Praniti. Same wonderful, here. wonderful organization. Thank you. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to downtown Burlington. So all morning long we've been exploring artist Chris Perez, Chris Perez and this massive mural that they have here on John Street. And it's kind of a work in progress. It's about halfway through. 
And it's really kind of been neat to see how him and Aiden go about doing this. Okay, so you had an idea of what you wanted in your mind, Chris. So where, where are you kind of at now? You're just adding spots to it, like just random pieces? Well, it's like a push and pull, right? So I want to create some sort of contrast between each layer. So one layer would be probably maybe a more um, ethereal kind of feel, and then after that, I'll chisel it out with more detail and more thickness to the line, and um, yeah. It's just mostly it's just like come and go, come and go. Can we see the spray paint? Yeah, sure. So like, this is obviously special. Have you always been working with spray paint in your art? Most, most of the life, yeah. Okay. So what's the difference between like these cans? So you know, one is uh, like the, the highest pressure, and then we have like another high pressure, and then this is kind of like the go-to pencils, right? It's just like a regular can that has a certain amount of pressure, and uh, yeah, you could change the tips uh, on these cans. They're compatible. Oh, so the tips are all different? Yeah, That's how exactly. you're getting different. Like this one is a lot different than let's say that one. Exactly, right, this one's the thinnest you could get to the actual, like these come with the can, right. so they come out like like a quarter size, and this, you, you just saw, it just comes out like turbo mode. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Can I try it? Yeah, man. It's gotta be, is it cathartic, like the satisfaction you get from doing this? I mean, instant gratification. <laughs> That's the word. Okay, what can I do? Where um, can I go? Yeah, you can just uh, feel free to express yourself if you want to get the motion of it, you know? I could... Yeah, <laughs> I would say, I would, I would say okay. the, mom the momentum of it goes up. This way? So think of, like, move your body first. So Let's... moving your body first yeah. through it? So maybe, like, just from up and up, over. Yeah, maybe, like, start, yeah. How would that feel? Pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Because how much is it, like, the actual... I don't know, the making of the art to seeing the finished product. I feel the finished product is finished in the viewer's eyes, but the whole experience is done through me, right? Because I'm as the artist, I like to create pieces that are more bodily and momentous. But for the viewer, for them, it's like a beautiful so thing. If you, right? So like, I don't know, years down the road, when you drive by this, yeah. you'll think about how you went about constructing this mural yeah, rather when than I, about Whenever the I drive mural. by my mural, I think about the people I met, the connections I made, the exquisite marks that kind of live in my memory, and all the little little functions in between. Aesthetics is uh, one one aspect of art for me. But there is still important pieces, like the flowers, and that, oh, yeah. that those are those are integral parts to a piece like this, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. They're like the, the subject matter, if you may. Okay, what about this one, this blue? It's very thin, so you can take your time with it. So I could take my... Yeah, just... Yeah. If you go a little closer, it'll be like a pencil almost. Oh, even closer like that? Yeah, exactly. What about oh. that little drip there, though? That's cool. <laughs> Do you believe in gravity? Yeah, man. Well, there you go. Right Got there. Trips. What about hopping off these stairs? You can do it, too. What color is those it? ankles? What, co what color is that? Uh, it's called space. It's like a dark green, blue. A dark green? Yeah. But it's going to be similar to that. Yeah, you, you can change it to this color. This color? This color. So let's flip these out. Okay. Let's do that. Up. Okay, so when do you think you'll be done? Sunday. So you still got a bit more work to do? Yeah. And excited about it? Yeah, getting to it. So close, far? Yeah, just practice your jump. Practice my jump first. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Did I anything saw, come out? I thought I saw like two drips. So. <laughs> you gotta get close. Gotta get close? Gotta get close. Let me try one more time. <laughs> I really like that one. I probably will keep it. Okay, okay, so if you ever walking by here, right there, that's my little piece to this uh, beautiful mural that's gonna be standing on John Street forever. Congratulations, man. Thanks. Very excited to. Uh, to see the finished product. Me too. On what, uh, on what this comes about. Chris Perez and Aiden, the whole gang here on, uh, on John Street in downtown Burlington. It is beautiful mural.